bounce it back to what Randy was saying. It's like, you know, there are those guys that, yeah, he wins like crazy, but, you know, nobody wants to work with him. Fans don't care, you know, and I'm not trying to pick on anybody. I'm just saying, you know, look at you, look at yourself and how you are representing not just yourself, those brands uh, to the public, the consumer, et cetera. So because they're an ambassador for the brand. That's where the term brand ambassador comes from. They are representing yep, yep. your brand to the public through their friends and families and associates, and everybody they meet. And then, and then Wing, let's go to you since you're a restaurant chain. Um, clearly you're using athletes and events to drive traffic into your stores. Is that probably with coupons that you can monitor to see who has the best results? What are some pretty effective campaigns that, that teams and riders and athletes have done to get uh, people into your stores because I remember a Tony Hawk promotion at least 15 years ago, you know, first one comes yeah. into the store, wins this tickets to something. You do a lot of those. And we're, we're constantly doing it because everybody wants to meet a celebrity, but to literally, you know, you guys have all said it. There are guys that are fast on the podium that you can't wait for them to be off your team. Right. So I think this <laughs> applies for me because, you know, there's the gift to gap, but they have to remember, if they're not selling merchandise, they're not getting paid, right? And they forget that part. So I, like, I always do the same thing. I talk to all my friends, all you guys here, to say, hey, who's up and coming, but who's going to be fun? And it's not going to feel, I joke about, like, pulling teeth from them to show up to a meet and greet. Because I see in the, I call it, like, in the NFL, I have a lot of friends because of the agencies are all here. And they sign up for these deals you know, with airlines, whatever you want to call it, right? And in it will be, hey, you get this, but you have your two appearances, you got to do this, right? And you have to see them cringe when it comes time to make the appearance. And I'm like, mm -hmm. were you not the guy that took the 200,000, half a million, and now you're bitching and moaning about spending an hour at this event? And not only do they bitch, they show up and they have this chip on their shoulder like, I don't want to be here. Wow. Well, guess wow. what? Then don't sign that deal next time. Nobody's forcing you to take the airline tickets or whatever it is that you're taking, right? The watches, all this stuff. So, you know, promote the brand. And the, so I'm always talking because at the end of the day, there's a very short list of guys that no matter where I'm at, they're all waiting. Great to see you, blah, blah, blah. Hey, let me take a couple of pictures with you and all this. And that's what we want. Well, we're all generating content. But if you feel that super cross, like I'm pulling teeth to get this guy to do anything, I'm like, thank you. I'll keep that one in mind and I'm not coming back because I can do that with 10 other athletes here, right? So Monster, all the guys, Red Bull, they're amazing because they all have, you know, their filters. Mm -hmm. So we all know at the end of the day, make your athletes approachable, make mm -hmm. them friendly. And yes, you may have a rough day, but you still got a game face to put on. Because the consumer doesn't know that your part just broke down or your dog just got rid of it. They don't care. They just want to go, oh, my God, I see you here. I want a picture. I want an autograph. And you got this sour face. I'm like, no. <laughs> when you're in the public figure, you can't have a sour face no matter how bad your day is.